Let's run up through the fields where the sun shines and heals. Sounds wonderful, actually. This one has tomato, red onion, cilantro, jalapeno, pepper, lime, salt, juice, habanero, pepper. Best before four. I like the word. I just like the fact they keep hammering how everything is like so organic to the point where they tell you exactly where it is they got it from. What is this? Eight servings. 40 calories. Sounds so good. Everything sounds so good. And we learned from Whole Foods today. <laughs> we went in and we spent a whole $10 for a, a chips and a salsa. And I don't know, like everything is like incredibly expensive, in my opinion. In my opinion. Welcome to my channel. This is Nana Ashanti again. If today is your first time, make sure you thumbs up this video. I'm a little hyped today because guess what we're doing? We've got the keys. We got the keys to the shop. Finally, now I want you guys to take a really good guess which shop you thought I went for. So there was the one in East Ligon that was like a thousand dollars or something a month and there was the other one that was five hundred dollars there was another one that was thousand three hundred dollars and then we saw the other one that was a thousand ghana cities which was a uh, hundred and fifty dollars but it was for five years rent advance and then we saw the other one that was about two thousand dollars for the whole year in oyarifa so i have finally settled on the store it's a little different than I expected it to be, but I think it will work perfectly well. I'm going in right now to get the keys, finally! If today's the first time watching this channel, my name is Anna Ashanti. I'm a business content creator that lives in Accra, Ghana. I make content about African business. I am starting a grocery store chain a grocery store franchise i'm super excited about it so we are building our first store our flagship store it will be smaller but it will be good so we're going inside right now so you guys can see the space that i finally chose it is one of the five and i think it's the best one let's go okay we got it i chose this space yes the one that was going for like four years um that's the one i chose however we didn't pay like the full it was five years right but he went a little down for us so this is the space now the reason is that right you hear that is a board so behind the board is another shop that's exactly like this we're trying to get that as well uh, i think this is a good space we could start small like this because i'm thinking that um you know starting small will gauge everything properly let me know what to do what not to do and all of that so i think this space is perfect if you look outside over there you can see the traffic which is why i chose it it's a lot of cars it's like maybe like 40 50 cars every minute or something it's a lot of people so i'm thinking this is like a perfect spot for us to open i'm super excited about that um so let me tell you guys how i'm gonna do the layout right um we're gonna have like two companies in one we're gonna have the shop and we're gonna have a little cafe so we can have the hot food section now this is the section i'm going to make like a small cafe like from like from here to maybe right here you know like a small little barista corner over here um we're gonna widen the windows a lot of construction that's gonna go on before we move in here so you guys are just seeing the bones of it right now and then i'm gonna put the fridges here a long fridge and a short fridge right here now we're gonna draw a mural over here i already have an idea one of you gave me an idea on youtube i think it's fabulous so we're gonna use that um i already have the name of the cafe i'm thinking that you know as the store gets bigger 
we will separate the cafe from the shop but right now they're gonna to run together so we're gonna have two businesses in one now we're gonna have a mural also here because when people walk in from the shop right right here is the gate from the gate your first attention goes here right so I'm gonna have a mural there to kind of like kind of sum what we're doing and also maybe have some of the fresh fruit there because I'm gonna put an air conditioner right there so we have the fresh fruit and everything over there so when you get in you see it first we want the disposable soup to go faster the per perishable sorry the perishables to go faster in a store now this whole wall is all gonna be all um how do you call it it's all gonna be shelves so here's where all the majority of the products are going to go uh, my architect is coming tomorrow so we're gonna come here and she's gonna divvy up the place i love it i think i'm gonna keep the doors open i think i think i want to keep the doors open because i see a lot of like the shops the doors are always closed and it feels like it's not inviting so i'm going to keep the doors open i'm going to show you what we're going to do outside because i'm going to use the parking lot i'm going to use the veranda i'm going to use everywhere so there is where the majority of the things will be. I will have like um, fruit baskets or snack baskets here. I'm actually now deciding if I should put the cashier right over here, right? So we have the cafe, the fridges, and the cashier right over there. Not certain yet, but that's what I'm planning on doing. All right, let's go outside. So I'll show you guys what I'm planning for outside. Okay, for the outside, um, this is where it is. So I'm gonna have like um, a small chair and table over here. So if when people come in, they can like rest a little bit if they're tired. Um, I also wanna have like a free drink stand here, like maybe free water or something for people to drink before they come inside the store. And I'm gonna have a plant stand here. So I'm gonna put shelves up here where we'll sell plants as well. You know, the greenery is kind of inviting and it will let people come in here if they see that we sell plants here and then over here when you step here I'm gonna have um, baskets of fruits and vegetables over here so like people will buy that fast because I want the like I said I want the um, perishables to go fast so we'll put baskets over here for the fruits and the vegetables and then we'll make this place as lively as possible I'm gonna have a big sign over here and I'm gonna have another big sign right over there towards the road now it's right now it's about rush hour so people are like now coming from town and going into their houses this is more of a residential area this is adenta pantine junction um, a lot of cars come in here so my thing is to capture the cars that are going into um, the station and also capture the cars that are coming that way and for that to do that we need to make sure the outside here is as lively and as green and as inviting as possible it is quite possible that I will get that second store as well so I might have a double shop you know what I mean right now the budget only allows me to get one store so I want to concentrate on that but if it's possible that I can get this second shop I will definitely break the bank in order to get this second shop so we can get as much space as possible now I have another plan let's look at it okay so this is a big parking lot right it's a big parking lot um that's the landlord's shop there's another person that has a shop here so there's a big parking lot way bigger than any of us know what to do with so i'm thinking i'll have a farmer's market here on the weekends i'll invite like most of like the the young budding entrepreneurs who i you know the ones i usually interview and stuff and we can have like a nice food bazaar here on the weekend like a, a normal farmer's market but i just haven't seen it done you know and with all these people passing by we're definitely gonna draw a crowd if we have like food stations here we have fresh fruits and vegetables we have like you know fun stations candy desserts all of that over here on the weekend i've asked permission my landlord i really love him he's very agreeable so he's asked us that we can do whatever we want here so this is it guys this is it I'm like if I tell you guys like I'm so giddy about this like I know in a few months I'm gonna walk in here and this whole place is gonna be beautiful it's gonna be colorful it's gonna be inviting good customer service there's gonna be hot food provisions fresh vegetables green raiders we're going to reinvent what it means to be a convenience store and um, I have so many ideas I have so many ideas but for now this is it. 
so guys what do you think like I always take you guys advice because like the comments are like better than a grad school paper I say that to my friends I'm like my YouTube comments are better than any paper I've ever written in any school ever because you guys are just like different perspectives I love that so we're going to start this door with measurements and designs and all of that and then I'm gonna start working on suppliers as soon as, as possible my goal is to open on the 1st of September um, 2022 God willing it's a Thursday so I'm gonna have a weekend launch Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday to launch it so from now till September 1st guys we will be working inside the shop I hope you guys are ready thank you for sticking with me thumbs up subscribe I hope you're just as excited as I am because I really am anyways catch you later Bye. we got the keys we got the keys We got the keys, 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 we got the keys, we got the keys for four years. We better be profit. Can't be out here, be broke, because we've emptied the bank account. Anyways, oh, we're excited. You're starting a new thing, right? Yes, of course. Uh, Revenue, salaries, and whatever, and they will love the store. 